I think for Stormgate, I mean, assuming the game is going to be good, assuming, you know, it'll actually be something that pro gamers are interested in. Absolutely, the StarCraft players will dominate. There might be some Warcraft guys that switch over. They will probably be very good too. There might even be some Age of Empires guys that switch over. They'll probably be mediocre at best. No, no, they'll probably be pretty good too. Um, I don't know exactly um, how it would work, you know? You know how like with, uh, with, with the UFC, they kind of found out that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the OP one? Um, I don't know. Out of the RTS games that are popular in 2023, I am inclined to imagine that the StarCraft guys are much better than the top-level Warcraft guys and the top-level Age of Empires guys. Like, the top-level Age of Empires guys, I don't mean this with any disrespect, but the top-level Age of Empires guys are basically the dudes that didn't make it in StarCraft at this point. I'm not ready. So they're like, oh fuck, there's this new game. Oh, we'll give it a try. Happens to be a lot of money. Um, I must wait a moment. There's definitely some good players though that also were very successful in StarCraft 2, but I, I do think. I do think the StarCraft guys will probably be pretty good. A lot of the StarCraft guys though are getting a little bit older too. Same for the Warcraft 3 dudes. And they will probably not be too fast to adjust to new strategies and playstyles. You kind of get stuck in your ways. So there's a very good chance that the guys that are in like their early 20s in StarCraft right now, that are like strong, have a very good shot at becoming very good at that game. I'm not ready um, there's a bunch of really young players in StarCraft 2 right now that are above 6k MMR. Arrow Fire is like 6.5k MMR. The guy is 16. He just actually, I think he's 15. I think he's turning 16 this month. Um, guy is like genuinely, I would say top 20 EU or something right now. But he can't really, you can't really tell exactly because he can't play premier tournaments because he's not old enough. But he's very strong. Eba is like 6.1k MMR. I think Eba is like. 15? Maybe 14 years old? There's young Yakov, I think he's 18. There's like a bunch of good players that are... There's Cuckoo. There's a bunch of really good players that are younger. I think they will probably find quite a bit of success. Um, but I mean, there's still a lot of really good players too in StarCraft that are... Like, people are talking about, uh, you know, young players sometimes, but like even... How old is Serral? Serral's like 25, maybe? Yeah, Serral's 25. So it's not like he is a he's a boomer, you know. If Serral dedicates himself to uh, to Stormgate, he will undoubtedly be a god at the game. Assuming it's similar enough, but it's always hard to say, right? So. Is there an age limit on top tier tournaments? Uh, there's an age minimum. Yeah. So. For premier tournaments from StarCraft, you have to be 16 years old minimum. I cannot do that here. Yeah, creative players also do very well at the start. That is very true. And also seems that Stormgate is going to be a little bit more. I'm not ready yet. Often, you know, it's going to be updated more frequently, I think is what they mentioned. So they want to do like more seasons and whatnot. Where like there's consistent development. Um, which sounds really good, but it also means that the meta will probably be shaken up more frequently. So players that are more creative, if the meta never really settles, will probably, f yeah, feel pretty good. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. It's hard to say, but I I do yes, think I'm trusting you and that old crone to handle this. There's quite a Tell few Shabar, uh, good players out there. To play with. We will be watching. Rainer Clem, they will be very good. Max Vex should be really good too.
I strongly believe if one of those guys decided, yo, I am now gonna be playing Age of Empires 4 full-time, they'll probably be the number one in the world within a year. Marine Lord was really good though. I know Marine Lord was very Almost strong in. Um, I think Marine Lord is still really good in uh, Age of Empires 4 right now, right? I don't really follow the rankings all too much. I don't really know the AoE 2 scene that well. Yeah, so Vortex, the Muslim, Marine Lord, Beastie. Yeah. Sort of. Those are all StarCraft players that like switched over. Lenok. Beastie Cutie is very good. Beastie is definitely very good. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I think if he would play StarCraft 2 competitive right, right, right now, he would definitely be good. But he would probably be like a 20 to 50 world rank ish. I think most of those guys would be rank 20 to 50 world rank ish. Starcraft's very, very top heavy, man. Like the, the guys in the top five are significantly better than the guys in the top twenty. I'm not ready yet. And likewise again for the guys in the top twenty are much better than the rank fifty. I don't think Okay, Marine Lord rank number one right now, BC rank two? Okay, yeah. Marine Lord was really good for, uh... Marine Lord was genuinely, for, for a while there, he was one of the very best Terrans in Europe. It's difficult though, man. <clears throat> I am not familiar with Age of Mythology. There's an Age of Mythology, like, competitive scene that's actually watched a lot. I haven't seen a competitive game of Age of, F Age of Mythology ever. Radagast. That's a good name. Um, I gotta go and bring the thing right over there to the lady. Hera? Hera is- yeah, I've heard the name Hera. I know he's very good in uh, Age of Empires too, yeah. Moment. Viper has wrist issues? Okay. You don't really hear that very often anymore in StarCraft, eh? Guys having wrist issues. I'm not it's because nobody yet. plays. Wait. <laughs> we used to hear that as a, as a problem back in the day, but now all the guys are like, ah, two hours a day. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. No, I think I've gotten a lot better at the, uh, the mass practice style that Korea used to do is definitely not the standard anymore. I'm not ready yet. Like those guys were doing like 14 hour days every day. No weekends, no nothing. Just 14 hour days, boom, 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 keep it going. Like sure it makes you good at the game, but you know. I'm not ready yet. How much do the top 50 guys in StarCraft 2 practice? I must wait a Um Probably not as much as you think, to be honest. I think most of the guys will probably do like four hours a day. If you want to get there right now, it's going to be very, very hard. Like once you have the skill developed, it's not, you know, it's not going to take as much to develop or, or to maintain, right? Like, Saro could not play StarCraft 2 for three years. I could literally play 20 games every day, and I think the first game back, he would absolutely destroy me. I genuinely believe that. Um, assuming the meta, you know, remains the same. In a macro game, I think he would destroy you. Just the uh, mechanics are nutty. I don't think you really need to maintain that. Ewan has a scroll for everything, doesn't he? Let me see it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. The spell is old, intricate, but I have another familiar. <laughs> another one? Come on, I've done like seven side quests for you. For the task. 
Mohran will suppress the wild magic. Please protect him. At my age, I can't afford to trade any more of my life essence to create a familiar. Keep up your guard. I expect there will be trouble. Max Pax is Loka's main race. True, dude. Big true. Finally, my secret is out. Hey, I only have side quests remaining in this area, guys. My main quest is leading me to... Yeah, look at this. I've got so many. My main quest is leading me to... The Dry Steps. Which was also my nickname in... No, 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 no. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? Oh, this is the familiar right over here. Found him. I must wait a moment. Have you guys ever seen Max Pax and Loco at the same time in the same room? I'm not ready yet. That's what I thought. Uh, where do I send Mogram? Ah, right over there. I must wait a moment. You peeked through the curtains yesterday? Oh. How much of that beast meat do I need? 12. Okay. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good problem. Um, or a good point on um, the program. I must wait a moment. I'm gonna be wrapping things up, by the way, very soon, guys. Gotta do these little side quests. Or this little side quest, and I'm gonna be heading off. I'm not ready yet. I wanna help out the old lady. Am I the best StarCraft II player from the Netherlands? Absolutely. I must wait a moment. By far. Are there even any other Dutch players in StarCraft? I don't think so. There used to be a guy called Hamster or something? I don't remember his exact name. He was alright. Like uh, Mark J? Some guy I think uh, was a Feyenoord supporter. I'm not ready yet. Oh yeah, Mark J is a uh, Mexican now. That's that's true. <laughs> I must wait a moment. No, I am definitely not the best StarCraft player from the Netherlands. No, he's Mexican now. I can see it. I'm not ready yet. That's how that goes. Like if I were to move to the country that you live in, Hungary, I would immediately get hungry. I'm not ready yet. That's how that works. I must wait a moment. I think so, Vel. I think you might be right. You might be onto something. I'm the best Starcraft player from Amersfoort? Probably, yeah. There's about 150,000 people here. 150,000 that haven't heard of StarCraft 2. Pretty sick, right? I might be one of the five players that is familiar with the game. Hello, corruption man. What are you doing right now? A little, uh, little, little tippy toes. Okay. Well, I have to keep moving you. Bro, I thought we were doing the quest. Okay, I'm just gonna run by everything now. You better follow me, mate. Okay, he can teleport. That's good. Okay, do your little dance over here, too. I'm not ready yet. I 
I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I must wait a moment. No, I think I just have to kill all the enemies. Yeah. I must wait a moment. I don't think it's bugged. I think it just takes a sec. Some of the side quests in this game, though, they like look like they're gonna take you five minutes to complete, and then they end up taking 45 minutes. This did kind of look like a short one, but you, I must wait <laughs> you never know. We might be here for a bit. Okay, next one. I must wait a moment. It is almost dinner time, dude. Oof. I'm excited. I must wait a moment. I am very hungry. I must wait a moment. Today, I have eaten yogurt. I must wait. Oats. A that was breakfast. I had chicken breast, cabbage, fucking melon, and then a protein shake. That's all I've had today. It. It's been it's been a bit of a tough day. Yeah, yeah, we're we're at the most boring diet of my life. I'm not ready yet. Pretty large quantities of everything though. Calories wise we're okay, but you know. Bit of a sugar addiction, I think. <laughs> the Diablo diet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must wait a moment. Not a whole lot of carbs yet today, though. That's kind of, I guess, what I'm noticing here. I'm not ready yet. Slay the corrupt the beast. No one needs carbs. I, must wait a moment. I like carbs a whole lot, my man. Carbs are delicious. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. All my favorite foods are carbs. Only carbs diet? That sounds like a horrible idea. I did it! I completed the lady's quest! You hate carbs? Ay, 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 ay. You hate crab? Water and bread is a bit of a classic. It's gonna be hard to exclusively have carbs though, man. I don't think I'm you can get an exclusive yet. carb diet. That's gonna be very difficult. Don't think that's ever going to happen. Just pure carbohydrates. Nah. I must wait a moment. I must wait a moment. It probably would be on the program, yeah. I'm not ready yet. I'm the program has the weirdest diet I've ever heard. Hello. You it is done. Not see it. The wild magic has taken Mokran from me as well. <sighs> the druids were right to fear it. The thicket rests. You did well. Thank you. Now please take your leave. I need to think. Okay, uh, I got a little side quest. Done. What's this? Oh, it's a rare ring. Poison damage up, critical strike damage up. All of that is not bad, eh? I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace this ring. 
I, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have to make sure that I print the thingamajig. You're only, you're doing two solid food days a week? Yo! Gains? Oh, okay. Okay, nice little leg spike, no biggie. Hello, can you imprint the thingamajig? On my thingamajig. So I currently have the blood howl. Yes, please imprint that. Thank you. What? 422, hold up. I'm doing the wrong item. I was gonna say, there's something wrong here. This is not the correct one. No. Magic is neither good nor evil. How may I help you? How may I help you? Okay, this is the one. I was gonna say, I'm doing the wrong thing here. There we go. What? Salvaged from legendary jewelry? An abstruse sigil? Bro? This guy, dude. Okay, you're trash, trash, trash. I'm not ready yet. Trash, trash. You can go in the stash, because you're trash. Um, I like my poison creeper, I think. Oh, this one also gives me a rank of poison creeper. Cheeky, cheeky. Okay. Okay. Distance or distant enemies might actually be kind of nice too. Yeah. Um. Okay, I need to go salvage a legendary oh, item. I have like two legendary items in my stash. Treasure stash. That's the game, dude. That's the name of the game we're playing. Um... I think this one will probably not be something I'll use. So I'll mark that as trash. So that should give me the item that I need. Um, I'm also gonna have to have gems that I actually put in my jewelry. Resistance, cold resist, lightning resist, shadow resist, fire resist. Okay, I guess I'll go with the... How do I split? Ah. There we go. Put one of those in there. So these gems can be used over here. When I'm gonna upgrade one of these rings... Oh, actually, I could also just salvage this ring. That's probably even better. Okay, I'll salvage them both. That way I have one in the future. Druid is fun, man. I like Druid, yeah. They don't look very cool, though. It seems that the rogues look amazing. Rogues look really cool, actually. I must wait a moment. Um... I do have a massive hairy back. That's true, man. Magic in all things. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, I think this one will probably be more likely to stay for longer. Yeah, blood howl. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Yes, please. So say I wanted to do... 
Attacking enemies with a basic skill increases the damage of your next core skill cast. Okay, yeah, I just need to salvage more legendaries for that sort of thing. Yeah, so all of these now start requiring uh, different legendary salvage for me to actually use that. Yeah. Okay. Good run today, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. So, uh... I didn't stream yesterday, but I did play for about one hour. I played for about one hour on a new character I made. Called the Rouge. At least that's how I see a lot of people typing it. Turns out the Rogue is insanely good, dude. Survivability definitely isn't, uh, yeah, uh, it's strong suit, but the early game felt so incredibly smooth. Oh no, I'm late. I swear, I swear my level 10 Rogue deals as much damage as my level 37 Druid. Genuinely, not even the same category. So many movement abilities, so much flipping around, rolling around, speed, violence, momentum, the whole thing, dude. I feel old. Prisoner of Azkaban released 19 years ago. Did it wow. now, Psycho? Wow. That's insane, man. Take over to five bucks. Prisoner of Az Azkaban came out 19 years ago? Ay, ay, ay. Thank you, Crown Lore, as well, of course, for the 53 month resub. Welcome back. Thank you for the tier two. Also, guys, uh, previously I mentioned that drops for Diablo 4 would be starting on the 5th of June, because that's what it said on the website. Turns out, uh, it is another one of these classic cases of America not being the center of the universe. <sighs> this is one of the more frustrating things about being a content creator. They say it's the 5th of June, but really, it's the 6th of June at 1 in the morning in, in Europe. So it's really like noon over in Australia. <laughs> Technically, it's the 5th over in, you know, the Irvine office of Blizzard. But my god, for basically the entire world, it is the 6th that the Twitch drops go live. Sorry for those of you that uh, got baited by it. No drops yet today. We'll have drops available tomorrow. There's only one time zone, Loco? Yeah, yeah. PDT is the only time zone. <laughs> it really is annoying though, man. Like, this happens all the time with games, right? Coming out on September 17th at 8pm. You're like, okay, yeah, 8pm, what time zone? Usually when you have to ask yourself what time zone it is, it's specific time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Psycho. Or Psycho, rather, gifting us up to Zemethil. Yeah, you'd imagine that would go with, uh, you know, GMT Zero. But not the case, not the case. I don't know why you ever doubted Rogue with his code s and records, Lolul. Yeah, no, you're definitely right, Don. Rogue's currently in the military, man, but, uh... Still OP in this game. I'm gonna continue playing my, my Druid, though. From what I understand, we are getting to the point where Druid is actually becoming kind of powerful. I'm not sure yet if we're already there. Yeah, they did the first balance patch today, or, well, same story. Uh, they did the first balance patch. <laughs> and it nerfed a bunch of stuff. It didn't really buff anything for Druid, though, if I'm not mistaken. Diablo for, uh, for Diablo 4 patch. They, they did a new patch yesterday, or today. Um... Oh, they did multiple patches, I think. Ah, here we go. Barbarians, challenging shout. I don't even know what any of these things do, so I'm not gonna read them. Druid, pulverize. Lucky hit chance reduced from 33% to 25%. Lightning storm damage increased. Grizzly rage. Wait, they nerfed one of the builds? This is one of the few builds. Actually, the build I had open over here because I was thinking about giving it a try. This is a pulverized build. They made it weaker? Really? Okay. Grizzly Rage, maximum extended duration from kills, reduced from 10 to 5. Obsidian Slam, Calm Before Storm, Lock Hit Chance reduced, kills required for bonus increased from 10 to 20. Okay, Electric Shock did get buffed apparently. Dude, I don't really know what any of these things mean though. That's a bit of a problem. Couple of the builds were nerfed for the hardcore race. I see. 
If anybody has a build for Druid that they think is going to be good with the new changes, please let me know, because basically every build out there is going to be a little bit outdated. And I'm not quite at the knowledge where I can actually start building my own stuff. <laughs> yeah, Blizzard was like, fun detected, nerf built, game's been live for a day and a half, gamers sure. having fun, quick nerf. Don't know if that was necessarily the best choice right away, but then again, there are, you know, challenges going on right now of people trying their best to get to the highest level as quickly as possible. And if one of them or two of the classes seem much better than the rest, I mean, everybody was basically playing Barbarian there. All of the, all of the players I have seen play this game are playing Barbarian or Sorcerer. Apparently Necro is very popular too. Don't see a lot of Rogue. Don't see a whole lot of... Well, I don't see anybody playing Druid. <laughs> I'm playing the underdog, guys. That's what we're doing. Anyways, I went live a little early today because I felt like it. I, must I slept like a baby, by the way. Well, better... Than, I slept like a rock. Maybe that's a better way of describing it. I had been sleeping pretty terribly for a good couple days. I think I slept like eight and a half hours straight last night. It was glorious. Highly recommend Grey oak gave you a root. A good, clean, lively one. Too. Yeah, I did that for this man. A I went out to a dungeon for him. From a cutting such as this, it'll graft nicely and refresh her for another age. Oh, Shroud is playing at Pulverize build? I must wait a moment. Should I try out the Pulverize build that I found, guys? I haven't yet given any of this a try, though, and this is like, you know... Yeah, this doesn't really keep in mind a whole lot of stuff. We can definitely give another build a try, though. I think it might be kind of fun. How do you guys feel about doing a new build today? This is a bear-based build. I think I'm gonna do it. I know it's very inefficient to constantly respec, but I am not playing a very efficient character anyways. I am just trying to have some fun, learn some different stuff. Yeah, let's do a bear build. A refund. It's getting kind of expensive, though, because I'm refunding way too often. Anyways. Um, we're doing a little bit of Storm Strike. Storm Strike did get a bit of a buff. And hence Storm Strike and then Fierce Storm Strike. So this is mostly just as a generator. And then we're going into Pulverize. Yeah. All the points in Pulverize. Which of the Pulverizes do we do? Primal Pulverize. So, enemies hit with Pulverize deal 20% reduced damage for 4 seconds. Okay. Your next Pulverize will overpower every 12 seconds while you remain healthy. So, as long as my health is high, I will deal bonus damage based on the sum of my current life and Fortified. Okay, I see. So, I need to try and stay at as high an amount of HP as possible to deal maximum amount of damage. Fair enough. Um, there's a bunch of passives over here, too, but I think I'm gonna go down to the other ones first. Earthen Bulwark, that is the shield thing that we've already ran a couple of times. Uh, this one suggests the Preserving Earthen Bulwark. Casting Earthen Bulwark grants 18% life as Fortify. Right, so that once again ties in over there with the Fortify situation. That sounds pretty fun. Uh, and then also one of these, Cyclone Armor. Powerful winds surround you, granting 10% non-physical damage reduction. Okay, so that's the passive. The winds expand rapidly, knocking back enemies and dealing damage. I think we'll probably just sort of have that passively running. No more Muktavas special. No, we're trying a lot of different stuff. I actually think this is the most fun way to play. There are so many different builds available, man. Like, nobody really knows exactly what they're doing. I think it's kind of fun to mess around. Hello, Drew, dude. Hey, man. Happy birthday, loco. Thank you, Rumpus. Hi, hello, hot, low, hot, low, pog, low, pog, low, velo, velo, high, low, high, low, clap, low, clap. Hey, man. Thank you for the 21. Uh, is it my birthday? Mmm, yes and. Every 10 seconds, Cyclone Armor intensifying, or intensifies rather, causing incoming damage to grant you 30% damage reduction for 2 seconds. Okay, that sounds good. Then we're gonna go into the Creeper things. This Creeper Vine OP. Ferocious Poison Creeper. Okay, we're poisoning people. Just the way we like it. And then we're doing a bunch of points over in this section too. 
But no more active abilities, right? Yeah, no. Not not over here. We get, I think, one of the ultimates. Yeah. Grizzly Rage. Okay. This is a full-on bear build, man. Everything's bear. Um, so it's both safeguard as well as stone guard. Okay. Grizzly Rage. So this is an ultimate. Shapeshift into a dire werebear for 10 seconds, gaining 20% bonus damage and 20% damage reduction. Damage bonus is increased by 3% each second while in this form. Kills extend the duration of by one second up to five additional seconds. Okay. Man, it would actually be kind of cool if it would just indefinitely keep... You could basically run Grizzly Rage 24-7. I'm trying a new build right now. I've never done this before. Okay, you become unstoppable. Gain eight base life as four to five per second. Okay, so again, this all ties in really nicely. Basically, pick all of the bear buttons. The bear buttons is what we're looking for. And then I have one more for the key passive. Um, I gotta pick up a couple more passives along the way. I guess I'll go with the later passives first. Deviance? Or Defiance, rather? Yeah. Defiance. Natural Disaster. So this is a super tanky build, though. And then Resonance. So... Magic skills deal increased damage to elites. Earth skills increase damage to vulnerable enemies. Nature magic skills deal extra damage too. So which skills are nature based? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. And then for the final passive, Ursine Strength. I think that makes the most sense. Um, which one's the Ursine Strength? Ah, it's a different icon actually. Oh, it's just a different color. Gain 20% additional maximum life while in werebear form, and for 3 seconds after leaving it. While healthy, deal 30% increased damage, and healthy means you're above 80%. Okay. Hello everyone. 84 months is 7 years. And I also now have my master's degree in archaeology feels good man. Yo, congratulations, Selderick. Of course, you know, uh, the 7 years are far more important than getting your master's degree. Besides, what are you digging for? <laughs> hey, thank you very much, bro. And congratulations. All jokes aside. Selderick making life gains, dude. He got his driver's license and a freaking master's degree in the same month. You're digging for happiness? I understand, man. You need all the tools you can get. It's important. Okay, I have a couple more points to spend. Are you now gonna go get your PhD right away? Was that the plan? I think that's what you mentioned anyways. Okay, we have a whole lot of passives still to acquire. Yeah, he got 99 agility in RuneScape 3, man. He's a big, you know, RuneScape guy. <sighs> Okay, we've got loads of passives to get. We also have a whole lot of side quests to complete. I'm not ready yet. I don't know if this is really a damage dealing druid, but I don't think we're gonna be able to die very easily. This is kinda like the Protoss version of druids, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you said you wanted to go straight for your PhD, but I'm not ready yet. You're gonna chill for a bit and actually do work? That seems useful. Okay, let's see. So I have this shield thing. I've got this thing. And then I've got my pulverize. So pulverize is this big overhead slam thing that I can do. It does look really cool, not gonna lie. Okay, here's my ulti. I don't think these guys really require the ulti, but that's okay. I got a bow, boys! Let's go! Debilitating Roar is something, I guess, that only becomes available while my ulti is life? I must wait a moment. I do not have enough spirit. I got a Charger Tusk. I need 10 of those. Not ready yet. Hey, what's up, Eltron? Yeah, I decided to go live a little bit early without any prior notification. 
It's okay. I must wait a moment. For cell damage. What do you call a very, 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 very old joke? Prehysterical. There's a lot of archaeology puns you can make, dude. There are many of them. I must wait a moment. Yeah, Celeric is an expert when it comes to taking a brush and cleaning a rock. Not a lot of people can clean rocks the way that uh, Celeric does it. I must wait a moment. That's what I imagine archaeologists do all day. They like dig a hole in the earth and they're like, Whoa, if I dig seven feet down, suddenly the earth changes from brown to a slightly tanner color of black. Wow, poggers, dude. This indicates pots. Look, there's a, sh a shard of a pot. It's 10,000 years old. Wow, dude, it's got a handle. That's what archaeologists do, right? Not ready yet. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I have a little backyard that could require a little bit of cleaning, man. If you if you want to do some rock cleaning, I uh, think it's just algae, but. <laughs> I've been following a Ooh. I'm not ready oh no. Yet. Did I miss it? I think I did. I'm out of spirit. I've been following a bunch of uh I've been reading a bunch of audiobooks and a bunch of lectures and stuff on yet. Egyptian history in particular, right? I kinda understand the appeal now, I'm yeah. Spirit. Those guys are out there in Egypt right now digging up cool shit, dude. Of spirit. They're still finding loads of cool stuff. Egyptian history is very cool. I must wait a moment. We went to Egypt on holiday some years ago, and for some reason, I, must wait I didn't moment. actually check out any of the touristy things. Which, in hindsight, I regret. It was great. We can definitely go back one day, but... Let's go down Legend of Doom. I must wait a moment. Well, it's a big country, right? You can do many things. I'm out of spirit. Hey, 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 this is Mind Tusk Charger. Get out of here. I can't, I can't yeet loot from him, right? Can I? No, I think I'm it's personal loot. Yet. I hope it's personal loot, because I don't want to be a jerk. I'll let him loot here next. See if uh, if he steals or steals. <laughs> if he takes anything from me. Doesn't he know who I am? Nah, he's looting right now. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. I must wait a moment. I watched. Uh, I have not seen the. No, I've not seen that one, Icky. I watched a, uh, the, I watched The Little Mermaid yesterday. I was gonna say, what's the movie called? The new one that just came out? Actually, fun movie. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm not really big into Disney movies, I'm but Loran wanted to go. I was like, yeah, let's go. Um, actually fun, yeah. I think it's probably more enjoyable if you're a... I'm not ready yet. Teenage girl, which I am not. Spirit. But I still enjoyed it anyways. There was a lot of women empowerment going on in that movie, that's for sure. Yeah, there was some controversy. So, if you look at some of the reviews online, there are some angry white people upset that Ariel is black. So the, the actress is black. And that is one of the... Oh, I am so done with internet drama sometimes, man. Like, that is such a stupid take. People are like, ah, I can't watch the movie because when I was a kid, Ariel was white and now she's not. Bro, just, there's so many dumb people in the world, man. I, I, I can't. I can't deal with all that. I, must wait a I, um, I enjoyed the movie. It was fun. Yeah, I do recommend it. There's a talking fish too, chat. There is.
I don't know, sad times. I'm not ready yet. Did I go get seafood afterwards? Uh, I did not know. That was no environmental take in that movie, though. What do I have to gather over here? Slay I bandits? I can do that. The crap still has a Jamaican accent, yes. Zone Franse Mariska Bauer gekwalificeerd voor NK Powerlifter? Okay. What am I looking at? He deadlifts 235 kilos? Not bad, dude. That is apparently the child, the son of a Dutch singer. I didn't realize that he had a son. I definitely do know Frans Bauer, chat. Are you guys familiar with Frans Bauer? If not, you are missing out on amazing I'm hits. Not ready yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't have Frans Bauer in your life, okay? If you had Franz Bauer in your life, your life would not be the same. The odds of Selderick studying archaeology to dig for happiness, if he had Franz Bauer in his life like 10 years ago, probably would have never been an archaeologist now. I must wait a moment. What's the spelling of it, Loco? Franz Bauer. As a Dutchman, that's a very easy word to spell, okay? I don't understand the problem here. Franz Bauer. Just the way you say it, man. Franz Bauer. I actually think his last name is very German. Bauer! Franz Bauer. French builder. That's actually a bit weird. Nah, actually, no, never mind. He's not very Dutch at all. Forty-nine years old. Happy Ava for my. I don't know what he does these days. I haven't seen that man in ages. He was very popular in like early 2000s, I think. But very popular. To a specific target audience. Oh, also, I had to think of you this morning, actually, Selderick. I know, this is uh, out of the blue. I think about you every morning, though. Don't worry about that. But specifically this morning, I saw some pictures. Apparently, there's a concert today, yesterday, and tomorrow in Amsterdam. One of the concerts is from some sort of pagan death metal band or some shit. I don't really know exactly what's going on there. And the queue for that was right next to the Amsterdam Arena. Which is where people were queuing up to go see Harry Styles. So there were some images going around of people dressed up with like, you know, black clothes and the eyeliner and the spikes and the whole shebang. Right next to the Harry Styles audience. It was great. Very good photos. Apparently, uh, public transport is currently down in Amsterdam, so it's a bit of a disaster down there. But, um, yeah, really fun pictures. I did not think of you right away, Argyle, no. You don't link me a whole lot of pagan death metal, I'm afraid. Yesterday was a gigantic shit show. It's back now. I saw this morning. It wasn't up yet, but maybe it's back since. I have to actually go to Amsterdam uh, Saturday. Very excited for it, actually. I feel like I've been going to Amsterdam more and more frequently over the last couple of months, but we're going to see um, Hans Simmer. Apparently, Hans Zimmer does a, a concert series as well, and he, uh, there's like a full orchestra in Amsterdam. He does all the movie music, which is really sick. I'm actually very excited for it. I listen to a lot of Hans, uh, Hans Zimmer in the car and whatnot. I, must wait a moment. I think that's going to be sick, dude. Yeah. You saved my life. Yeah, everything from Interstellar to, uh, The Lion King, right? I have never- I didn't even know he did concerts. It's- I think it's gonna be really sick, yeah. Loran actually has tickets, though, for, uh... Harry Styles. 
so I think she's going tomorrow. She was very hyped for that, guys. I'm not I'm not very big on the, the Harry Styles, I'll be honest with you, but Well, it's very fun to see the photos, though. You have all these girls dressed up with feathers and bright dresses and all that right next to the guys queuing up with eyeliner and spikes and black clothing and everything. I thought it was pretty sick. Oh, wow. These are nice big ones. Not cracked or nothing. Thanks Dude, Harry Styles is insanely popular, man. From what I understand, he apparently sold out the biggest arena in the Netherlands three nights in a row. And you could still not get tickets. And those tickets are fucking expensive, too. I'm not ready yet. Pretty crazy stuff. It's not really my cup of tea either, but uh... Hey, there's no denying there's a lot of people that uh, are very keen to go see it. <clears throat> my thanks, Wanderer. I cannot wait to visit my sister's bairn. Concert prices have gone up a lot, though, I feel like. I don't remember concerts being that expensive a couple years ago. Maybe this is Old Man Loco, that back in my day, concerts were cheaper, but... But boomer Okay, that's a couple side quests taken care of, guys. We still have loads that we need to go and do, though. I kind of want to finish... For this zone, I kind of want to finish at least this third tier of Renown. So we get one more skill point.